the nice cat sitting by you right now. <laughs> Lucky you. Will Even you my dog's gone. He's abandoned piece. me. I think they're both sleeping with Chantel. Winter will be upon us soon, and folk around here will need to keep warm. Those southerners keep looting the site here and taking the most important thing this camp has. Chief among them blankets and pelts for keeping warm. I joined Adso here because the pay was good, and hunting bear has long been my profession. Bear hides can be used for good blankets, but I can only hunt so many, and there is need of me to cure the hides. If you're willing, there are a great many bears in a hollow just north of Outlaw's Haven. Outlaw's Haven is west and north of Adso's camp. Get me some hides, and I will make it worth your while. You're going to give me reputation. Fabulous! <gasps> you are? Where are you going to house all these lovely kitties? I'm level 20. You're off to bed too, Manda Panda. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Adulting is never fun, but I hope it's a great day for you tomorrow. I love you so much. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I know that your time zone is late, late, late for you. Mrs. 1.30 a.m. Get you some sleep. Hugs times a million, my friend. Oh, how cute! That's a fitting name then, Domino. How adorable. Mm. Oh, so I get ya. A mama cat at a time with a litter. Oh, that's awesome. I would love to have little baby kitties. You're not going to get a lot of sleep, though. But that might work in your favor with insomnia issues. I can't remember who it was, but there was somebody that is a drifter. And she fosters kittens. I'm trying to think who it was. I'll be here all night if I try to figure it out. <laughs> but there is somebody, a drifter, I will have to look her up, but there is a drifter that fosters kittens, and I know she spends a lot of her time awake feeding those kittens. I carry only the finest goods. Let's see, supplies and demands. Supplies and demands! Look at that, you got them all back. I will be sure to see that these are given back to their rightful owners. I must say, perhaps Adso is right to put his faith in you. Look at this, more with men with Bree. That's a lot. Yep. Awesome. So you turn in that quest, or picked up that quest, or I whatever. I think I got them all, Kai. I should have, you yeah, have two quests, basically. Payment in Payment full, full and matter, matter of, of a, wrath. Matter of, no, it's a matter of wrath. It says a matter of warmth. Same thing. <laughs> warmth, uh, wrath. There's a place that uh, we got our cat from, actually. It's an all-cat shelter, no kill, and it's, like, open. So when you go in there, they don't have cats in cages or anything. They just kind of roam around. They have this extra house, and it's it's just for the cats. So they have screened indoors and things like that, and they have outdoor spots. And then they just kind of have, like, cat community, I guess. It's actually really neat because you can really see the cat and their personality in its natural environment. And the place is really nice. Um, and I'm pretty sure that they have foster parents for the cats there, too, when they get too full. But that's where we got Diamond from. And I would go back there in a heartbeat. Not that I really need more animals, because we have lots of stuff here, so. Do, they, do you end up um, giving the kittens to, like, a... Do you give the kittens to the shelter, or do you hold on to them until you find homes for them, or how does that work? I don't know, Gwen. I don't think there is such thing as too many animals. <laughs> I can understand your need for peace and quiet. No fur babies every once in a while, maybe. But me? I would love to have cats all around. Everywhere I look. No joke. I would love it. With me, my love? Hold on to them till they're adopted out. It'd be tempting and hard not to adopt them myself. I know, pet deposits. And they usually don't give you those pet deposits back, do they? Oh, look at these beautiful purple flowers, Kai. Oh, these are so pretty up I here. Like pretty Ooh, bear. I found a bear. I found a bear. Well, thankfully, thankfully we own our place, so I don't have to worry about that. But I don't we. Think these bears count, love. No, I didn't get an update. We did our fair share of um, renting. And then when we were in the military, it was kind of renting, but not really renting. We did our fair share of not being able to have pets or 
do things without deposits. Ugh. Oh my goodness! 30 stakes? Where are they keeping all of these? <laughs> that would be me, Simtastic. I would go literally from cat to cat to cat. If I if I lived closer to Craft, which is the, the location where the, they have the cats, and if I had the time to donate, which I don't because I'm too busy for that with the tiny human, but if I had the time to donate, I would be at Craft in a heartbeat. I would I would take my time to hang out with those cats all day long. I would love it. To Even if it was cleaning out cat litter boxes, man, I'd be around those cats all the time. I would love it. I would love it. What are we after up here? I see a flag. Oh, oh, this isn't you. I was chasing after a named guy. Oh, I went to the wrong place. Ah, come here, Kai. Yeah. Yeah. Come here, Kai. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he died. Come on, my love. Were we not supposed to come up here? Not to this place. Whoops. The I'm snakes are in the sad. living room. Are they breeding them or something? Or do they just literally have 30 snakes in different cages? Ooh. Gwen where she's living right now. The snakes are in the living room. Holy moly. You know what? I'm never coming to visit. <laughs> oh, well see, that's awesome, Simtastic. You must have a gift then. You, I think There's it's... There's a bear to the right. You want to go kill it? Yeah, I will. Probably some of it is your voice. Like I said, you have a very calming voice. And so the pets can probably really... They probably really... Um, react to that oh so they're going to sell them eventually they just can't right yet gotcha well hopefully they can get that up and running because that's like that's crazy to have that many in one small space eight dogs five cats three lizards and 30 snakes are the lizards and the snakes going to be part of the business or is it just the snakes Oh, see, I don't know if I'd be very good about that, Simtastic, because I see a kitty. Okay, so you, I don't know if you remember the, um, the cartoon. I think it was Looney Tunes, or maybe it was Tiny Tunes, where there was this little girl called Elmira, or Elvira. I can't remember. I think it was Elmira. And she's always like, kitty! That was, that's me. That's can you, me. Can you pick rhubarb? I don't know. I'll try. Uh, yes, I can. Ah! A stalk of rhubarb. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, and you have a turtle? Is it your turtle? Or is it theirs as well? Lots of stuff. Yeah, I do not have the patience to not be like, oh, kitty. I would, I would totally. If they're like skittish cats, I don't know. I, I worked forever. There's this uh, stray cat that kind of has adopted the family next door but um i don't know if you remember watching my vlog videos or if you have um little the kitty gaia it was the stray cat that i was feeding and um i got to the point where i was able to hold her a couple times and everything and so i have somewhat of patience that took weeks but i still was like i really just wanted to hold the kitty <laughs> i just want a kitty you just killed him, babe. tell it so it was tiny tunes that's right elmira i thought that's what her name was <laughs> well what else was she she was in the she was a looney tune tiny tune was elmira showing elmira as a as a tiny tune kind of like dogs and... oh you know what i don't remember seeing her oh, <laughs> Obviously, I must have, but I don't remember seeing. Uh, uh, I don't know what kind of a breed that is. A great Pyrenees. A broken urn? That probably for scholars? It says I don't have the right craft tool, so I can't do that one. Okay, uh, still not here. Still gotta Aww. go this way. Exactly, Deborah. Hug them, love them, and never let them go. That's, that would be me. <laughs> Ooh, 
for it. She should totally do that. And she could, she, yeah, a cat, cat sitter slash cat whisperer. That would be an amazing job that you could more or less do from home or on your own time. Like, it would be kind of freelancing then. So that would probably work for you. Good idea, Angelia. It's a giant white fluffy dog. So maybe kind of like a Samoya or something like that. I'd have to look up that breed. I've never heard of one. Pyrenees. Have you heard of one of those, Kai? <gasps> Dude! Pet portraits! Hey! That is a wonderful, wonderful idea. And honestly, I have a thought for that. Actually, I think, I think, yeah. I need to talk to you about something simtastic. Because I have, yeah, I don't think you guys can see it from here. No, you probably can't. On my, um, on my little feature wall here, on my, my shelving, I have a little 5 by 7 portrait. And I have been wanting to put a picture of my late cat in there. So I want to talk to you later, don't let me forget. Because I may want to commission something from you. A little small 5x7 of my cat, now that you say that. And it might not be now, but when I have money to do that, if you would be interested. What, what, what? Of princess, homie. Okay. To fill my 5x7. Okay. She is an amazing artist. So. Oh, is she gonna draw? I don't know. I haven't talked to her about that. Oh. It just, I just thought about it just now. <laughs> I was just like, hey. Is there something I can do Thank for you? Thank you for your help, Anarista, though I wish I didn't have to ask you to do it. I should have been in the one, but I'm such a small person in this big world. Still, you've done everything I could have asked and more. You will always be welcome at Edesto's. Thank you, sir. Oh, will you give me new clothes? <gasps> new stuff? Heavy armor. I can't use that. What's this one? Nope, don't want it. And... Nope, don't want it. I want your waistcoat. I just got a new shirt or a new pair of Is pants. Is wrong that those heavy armors are still not as good as mine? I got new pants. pants. No, I got a new shirt because I got new pants earlier. <gasps> Guys, now I'm all in blue. Look, hala, da 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 da. I thought it was matchy matchy before, but this is even more exciting. Yes, this is my character, by the way. That's as close as I can scroll in. I'm all matchy. I've got a bear head on my head, which is kind of weird, but kind of cute, you know. You're gonna try housekeeping? My, I have, I have family who does that. You do? Uh, housekeeping? Oh yeah, you do, don't you? Mm-hmm. And actually, I think you can make some decent money if you can get, like, if you can get constant stuff of people that are clients, constant clients, I think you could probably make some decent money on that. What did homie ask? He was wondering what I was talking about. About um, about, about my cat princess, about putting her up in in there. It's just a small. I think it's a five by seven. Or maybe it's a three by five. I don't know. It's really small. So it's only like this big. So I'll have to four I'll have to six. talk to you. Four by six. I don't know. Let me see. I'm gonna go look at it because it actually tells me what it is. Okay. So it is small. It's a three by five by five. I want it to go into this. It's a three by five by five. So yes, I will be on talks with you. Don't let me forget. <laughs> Please. Because like I said, I might not be able to commission it now because I don't really have funds for that. But at the same time, I would like to to talk about commissioning something from you sometime because that would be amazing. The jobs at the the hotel housekeeping has, has lots of turnover? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not they sure. They generally do. What? I don't know. Why are you bothering me? That's true. You know what, Gwen, but that's okay. And honestly, that kind of stuff has become more and more commonplace. So I'm sure that they have seen that. And if you have a reason for it, you know, you can always bring that up to them, to the work, to the management, when you're trying to get, um, 
hired on and tell them why you quit. Because it does matter. Especially if it wasn't that you were fired. It'll look better in your in your favor there. I wouldn't be disheartened. I'm sure you can do something. That's a good idea, um, Simtastic. That's a very good idea. Got a bunch of smarty pants in, in chat today. Smart, smart people. I never think of things like that, but that's brilliant. Uh, smarty pants is generally a derogatory term. But I don't mean a derogatory. But it generally is. Well, it's not. I'm not saying smarty pants derogatory. I think smarty pants is, a, is something good. What is this? Oh no, I already have this one. Okay, I'm selling what it then. Do you need? I'm gonna sell it. You're so beautiful. I'm selling it. To me. Bam. I sold it. Yeah, um. Yeah, we don't have Miko anymore either, Sparkly. I have a really good, good picture. Riddance. I have a really good picture of Princess. Um, I actually don't know exactly where it is. I know I have a copy of it, obviously, on Facebook. Um, because uh, I, I kind of posted a picture when she passed away. And um, so I know I have that picture. And it's a really good one. I'm, like, totally zoned in on reading here. <laughs> what? She told you that you can't handle working there, so they're not going to hire you? Can they do that? I didn't think they could do that. <laughs> Hang up advertisements around your house and people will call. That's true. You start with baby steps, little by little. The more you work, the more you can add to that resume and the more marketable you will be. See, I would like that because I, I don't know if I would like to work with the public. I did a lot of uh, retail and I don't like it. I'm not a fan of retail at all anymore. I got new mail. Did you get mail? Billy? Homie, did you get mail? Um, I got mail since uh, Fernie is not done yet. Greetings, yeah. I am Saradin, and my Lord Strider asked me to watch your progress in these lands. Your efforts to thwart these brigands may appear to be at an end. I fear it is not. If you would visit me at my lodge, we can discuss in depth the depths to which Bill Fernie has sunk. Okay, I'll have to check it out. Yeah, I got mail message, so I'm starting a quest. It says, um, let's see. I write to you on behalf of my Captain Strider. I am tasked with watching the events here in Breland, and I've learned that you have done much to assist the folk here. Your recent efforts in Breland came to notice when I learned that you aided a hobbit with a problem with brigands. Your efforts against the brigands are admirable, and though you may have thought they were at an end, I regrettably must inform you that they are not yet finished. Bill Fernie, a citizen of Bree, in his own self-interest, endangers the lives of all the citizens of this land with his actions. If you are willing, make the journey north along the Greenway to my cabin. You will find it east of Thorny's farm between Bree and the borders of the South Downs. It's going to give us increased reputation. And what's this one? Taylor recipe? What did I get? I got a shoulder pads recipe. And do you have a jeweler? No. No jeweler. Okay. Well, then I am going to sell the stuff. I'm going to sell it. What do you need? Oh, that's kind of a cool job, Syntastic. Was it something that you did, like, were you hired for that? Or is that something that you just did kind of on your own? Yeah, we gave Miko away a very long time ago. 
And we have one of the boys furry things. We only have one left. <gasps> Kai would have loved to work at a place called Books a Million. I can only imagine. Wouldn't you, homie? Wouldn't you love working at a job site called... Most likely. Yeah, I could see you be like, woo! My homie loves books. Loves bookstores. All that stuff. That's kind of cool. Look at you being your independent self. I haven't dealt with the anxiety levels that you guys all have. I did have panic attacks and anxiety attacks or whatnot um, when I was working. Um, when I was working retail at a grocery store. I had a lot of pressure and a lot of things going on in my life, which is not new. And uh, when I was working full time, that just kind of compounded everything. But I don't understand, like I, I can't, I can sympathize to a certain extent, extent, but I've never been in your position, having anxiety to that extent or agoraphobia where you have fears of going places. I have heard you guys tell stories, but I have no idea what that actually feels like. I can imagine, but I can't actually tell you that I understand. You have a passion for youth and elderly? I love working with the elderly. When I was, um, gosh, I, I think it was like 16 or 17. I was fresh out of high school, so I might have been 17. Um, I had two jobs working at elderly places. I worked at one place, and it was like a um, an old folks home that was an independent. So they would come down for the afternoon meal, but the rest, they lived in their own separate apartments. It wasn't like one big apartment building that they all lived in. They actually had their own separate apartments. So it was like, um, it wasn't assisted living really because they didn't really assist you with much. But I was there to help carry groceries upstairs because some of the apartments were on the second floor and they, they only had so many elevators. So I would help them carry up their groceries and put them away. And there were a couple places where I would help them vacuum their carpets, but I was there for odd jobs like yard maintenance and painting apartments and things like that. So, But I absolutely adored that job. And the other one I had where it was at one of those places where everybody lives in, in one whole building and they all each have their own little rooms. I worked there and I actually did the uh, evening meal. I was kind of the waitress. For the evening meal and it was so much fun i love working with the elderly but it does take a very special person to work with the elderly because not everybody can handle it oh that's awesome that's right see the elderly have amazing stories to tell you can't work with an elderly person and walk away unchanged that is so freaking true uh -huh. my homie does not have the passion for elderly but i do i enjoy them i love listening to their stories and they're amazing it's just so much fun. Yeah, I no, I know you can't. Well, I won't lie to you, Gwen. It is hard sometimes because it is a fact of uh, death is something that happens or just things that happen in general, like uh, falling and getting hurt. It's something that you have to just kind of deal with when you're working in those situations. But honestly, you can look at it as a sad thing, and I understand that, but at the same time, you have just spent so much time with these people, and they have all these stories to tell, and a lot of times people don't want to listen to what they have to say, so it's kind of fun being that person that they want to talk to and stuff. It's kind of fun. Exactly. Exactly what Simtastic just said. It's exactly like that. By the way, I still need one more bear pelt. Did you call back to Bree? No, I, I took the I took a horse there. Go ahead and go kill one. I mean, but I'm not exactly sure where to get one. <gasps> just any of these out here? I'm guessing just anyone. <gasps> well, come on then. Get down here, bear. I don't think that that gave it to me. Where were we for those, Kai? Cause You're I just. For that curious bear right there. What? Curious bears. Curious bears? Yes. Where's the curious bear? 
Uh, I guess I could track one. Ha! Huh? Let's track one, shall we? What did you call it? Field bear? Bear mother? What did you call it, Billy? Curious bear. <gasps> okay, we're gonna track one. Fabulous, I'm gonna go get one. Only piece of mystery. Exactly. That's right. And I always thought it was so neat because, like I said, not everybody wants to give them the time of the day. So it was kind of nice if you were their everything for the day. So much fun. <laughs> kind of. Um, apparently, if I am excited, or if I am scared, <laughs> or for whatever reason I'm reverting back to the good old days, I call him Billy. <laughs> Nowadays, because a very long time ago when we first got married, I started to call him Will. So I call him Will. But he's my homie, and I do call him homie more than Will, call actually. Me sexy one. <laughs> so it's William, but he goes by Bill, Will, Homie, and I do call him Billy on occasion. Family members and myself get away with calling him Billy. It, Cause I grew up with him, sort of. I knew him as Billy, so. <laughs> but I strong. Name. I don't know about that. <laughs> William. William, yes. William. Billy, uh, not too much. Sir William. William. William uh, gets a crown. <gasps> Speaking of crown, guys, I am so proud of my husband. I have to tell you something. So today. We went shopping for lots of things because we were kind of out of shorts and shirts that fit us and made us look like nice. And we just had some crappy stuff, right? So we decided to go do some retail therapy and get some shirts and shorts and tank tops. <laughs> some retail therapy. And my husband bought a pair of shorts that I found for him. They are blue and they have pineapples on them. And I am so excited about these <laughs> shorts. They are so cool. Yay. It's amazing. So much fun. Excellent quality. Once I cure these and repair them, they will make adequate blankets. We will find warmth this winter. After all, you are welcome, Mr. Roger Hawkling. Just so you know, I just took the horse to breathe. Okay, I will do that. Oh, guys. We get, oh, if I can but figure I out how we'll to do that. Stop after that. Yeah, let me, let me care. How do I... Where is it? How do I do this? To the left. Where? Behind the lost. Behind, no, not him. <laughs> to, the, to the right. Go across the road. Oh, stable master. Yeah. Gwen says that if she was, if she would have been a boy, they were going to name him. How William. can I be of service? We want to go to Westbury, right? Westbury, yes. Yeah. Travel. Gonna have to model them. I don't know if he'll model them, but you want to go get them. They're really awesome shorts. You're gonna model them for them? Go do it then! You guys are gonna get a show. <laughs> uh, <won't they? laughs> Close your eyes! <laughs> oh, come on now, they're really cool shorts. Go get them on really quick. Right quickly, back. quickly, Kai! I'm going, I'm going. Yeah, um, homie, Will, was named after his grandpa. Well, One of them. He was, he actually has his first and middle name are one from each set of grandparents, grandfathers. So it's kind of nifty. He's actually going to go get those shorts on. Huh, that's awesome. I didn't think he would. Did you know, you probably didn't know, but did you know that my homie is actually quite a very shy guy? He does not put out that he is, but he is very kind of shy. So I'm surprised that he is going to do this because I didn't think he would. <laughs> Maybe all this live streaming and playing has made him secure with you guys, which is really cool. Bunch of regulars here. Ooh, did you guys hear the music in here? I'm going to turn it up. I can hear that. Hopefully you guys can. It's like... It's like guitars. Oh no! Well, you know what? His legacy is living on Miss Gwen. 
<gasps> He's brought himself in the shorts, guys. Check him out. Come here, Kai. You look lovely. Come here. I'm working my way there, my love. Well, you can leave the tags on there. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Here he is. Look at these shorts. These are super cute. But you can't move too fast or you can't see the pineapples. You'll have to get closer. <laughs> Look! Pineapples! Look! On his bum! <laughs> He's got pineapples! <laughs> Aren't these cool shorts? They're so awesome! I love those. They are so cool! I know! He likes to impress the ladies. He talks the talk, doesn't he? <laughs> Oh my I have goodness. Girl ass, so it's definitely not that way. <laughs> I don't know. They are pretty cool. I think they're fun they're fun shorts. He's representing pineapple butt. <laughs> yeah, he's representing the pineapples. I saw those and I was like, Oh and they're your favorite colors. And then he said yes and I was like, Yes, we're gonna have pineapple shorts. No, they're pretty cool. Alright, lover. Oh, Gwen, you should totally do that. I would love to see it if you make it. But anyways, now that my homie is in his brand new shorts, I'm sure he wants to get out of those brand new shorts. <laughs> anyways, guys, it's time for us to wrap up the stream here. It is fairly late for me, which means it's really late for most of you guys. I want to tell you guys thank you so much for joining me. You have no idea uh, how much I appreciate you guys taking the time out to hang out with me and just be here. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really have words. Words are not coming right now. But I love you guys to pieces. So thank you for being here. I really, really appreciate it. So, as always, go out there and be a pineapple. Stand up tall. Wear a crown. And be sweet on the inside. Love you guys. Bye.